At the Old Hope Road four-way intersection in the vicinity of Devon House, you will find young men at each stoplight hustling to make some money. These young men would jump at any opportunity to wipe a car windscreen despite being told no by many drivers. Their determination to continue, though being rejected, often bears little reward. In most cases, this is their only job. Getting there as early as 6 a.m., they sometimes make between $1,500 and $2,000 a day. They blame society and the government for them not being able to find jobs elsewhere. A driver who traverses the area regularly shared some of his thoughts on the men who hustle at the stoplight and what he thinks should be done about them. They, they, can, they, they can be a nuisance, right? But we understand the hustling, the street things, I mean. You think the government should remove them off the street? Of course. There are young men find a trade, you know, find them a trade center or something. It's very important to get them off the street because these young men will eventually become a criminal. And while many may believe they are a nuisance who are not working but merely begging, this driver had another take on the issue. Well, they're working, you know. They're working. They're, doing, they're, they're providing a service, you know. It's just probably how they go about it and how they ask. And I think most people would want their windscreen clean, but it's just how they approach, you know. And we as a public also have to know that they're human beings and say to them, you know, no thank you, instead of just shooing them and running have them, etc. Have you faced any difficulties with them? I'm sure over the years, but I learned how to deal with the situation. I communicate with them also, you know. As I said, they're humans, they're Jamaicans too. 27-year-old Damien has been hustling at the stoplight for three years on and off again. When he finally got employed at a construction site, he received injuries to his hand, which left him unable to continue working. Damien returned to the streets. He shared some of the dangers he has encountered while working. Last time, I was out here wiping a, a man and through the window tilt up. I never see him say no. Come out of the car and tell me some bad word. You see, so I tell him bad, bad word. You understand? Because I never greet him with no bad word. You understand? And I must say, I don't. I saw my own suit dead out here and them things. They hear that. Because I don't know who is who and where. We don't come out here for freely know who is who. We come out here for us. So we not this nobody if nobody not this way. You know. Some of these young men are high school dropouts with no formal education resulting in lack of opportunities. For them, this is what they describe as making an honest living. Join us on Tuesday when we'll continue our look at the windshield wipers. I'm Cody Ann Barrett for Frontline News.